Anime Studio 11.2 has several improvements in the FBX export functionality, particularly when you're exporting content for use in the Unity game editor. Um, I'm going to show you how that works. There are two components to this. There's an improvement in the actual FBX files that Anime Studio outputs, and there's a script that we provide that works with Unity um, to sort of clean up anime files when you import them into Unity. Have a good one. So let's take a look at how this all works. First I'm going to bring up Unity and let's create a new project. Um, anime sample project. And I have here an older file. This was exported from Anime Studio 11.0. I'm going to import that into the Unity asset area and let's take a look. <clears throat> Here's the preview area of this character and we can see a couple problems right away. First of all, if we look at the character from the side you can sort of see how the body parts are spaced out in depth. So they're, one is closer to the front and others are further back. And the reason Anime Studio does that is to sort of force Unity to draw them in the right order from back to front. But the problem is, as you move the character, rotate it around, you can see that body parts sort of move in front of and behind each other. They, they change order. And so it only really works if you look at it from this one precise angle. The other problem is, as you can see, as I shift it around, the lighting is changing on this character. So normally for a 3D asset, you would want the lighting to change. For an anime studio asset, you probably don't want it to get lighter and darker like this. These are a couple of the things that we uh, have improved in this version of anime studio. So I'm going to get rid of this old monster. Um, and let's hide Unity. Now we're going to bring up the new version of Anime Studio. This is going to be in 11.2. And I'm going to bring in that same character. And I'm going to export as FBX. And I'm just going to call this, let's call it New Monster. So this is exporting from Anime Studio and this is the first part of the improvement. The second part, once this is done exporting, okay, so here's the new file. The second part of the improvement is, I mentioned a, a script that works with Unity. So to get to that, uh, you can go to the help menu in Anime Studio and choose um, open custom content folder. And in this folder, one of the subfolders is called Extra Files, and you'll find a Unity Importer folder in there. I'm going to actually quit Anime Studio because we've done our export. We don't need to use Anime Studio right now. So we have this um, Unity script. It's called Anime Studio FBX Importer. And to use this, what you do is you bring up a window and you go to your Unity project. So I have Unity projects. I created this anime sample project a minute ago. And we're looking for this assets editor folder. So if you don't have it, you can create assets and in there you may need to create an editor folder. And then you copy in this anime studio importer script into your Unity project. And what's going to happen now in Unity, <clears throat> whenever you import content, it's going to this script is going to get a chance to um, process that content. So let's bring Unity back up, and we're going to. You can see here this is the script that we just added. Um, I'm going to now import the new monster. So the new monster will drag it into Unity's assets. And Unity has imported that now. And if we look at this version of the monster, we can see that there are 
a couple improvements. First of all, if we look from the side, it's nice and flat. It's 2D as it was in Anime Studio. And when I move it at different angles, um, the ordering of the body parts doesn't change. So this was done by that um, the Unity import script that we put in place. And the other thing that you'll see is as you move the character from side to side, the shading, the lighting doesn't change on this character. It looks the way it did in Anime Studio. So it takes a little bit of setup to copy in this importer script. Um, but once you put it into your Unity project, all the Anime Studio content that you import will come in in a much improved state.